All right, here it is, the um, do-it-yourself forced air conveyor dryer uh, used for my t-shirts. Um, as you can see, I'm standing back. You can see the left side of the screen, um, a rotisserie motor that drives the belt. I've used just a household screen, just like you would replace, replace uh, window screens as the belt. You can see to the right um, the silicone that is the uh, that has joined the two ends of the belt the two ends of the screen together um, fairly uh, flimsy flexible so that once you tighten the belt it keeps it pretty tight um, I can see at the top I've got a old furnace fan blower um, the very top the heating units I've used two ceiling uh, space heaters I tried one to begin with didn't get it hot enough so I ended up adding two to the uh, to the top so that it'll um, heat heat the shirt uh, to the appropriate temperature as you can see right now uh, one shirt is coming out um, uh, it moves probably about an inch uh, a second to an inch a second and a half you could put one shirt or you could put actually two shirts on the belt I have the belt at about 18 inches wide um, I've used two electrical conduit sections as uh, the rails to hold the the, uh, the rollers together. Just taking PVC pipe with with uh, ends on it, found the center of the ends, and uh, and driven. Uh, rails through it um, for the ends right here I've got turnbuckles to keep the um, the belt tight I can loosen and tighten the belt right there um, if you see right here I've taken uh, the ends there and um, uh, drilled a hole through the center of that and used a uh, garage uh, roller garage door rollers for the ends so that it rolls you can see it doesn't really turn but if it if you put any kind of pressure on it uh, it'll turn pretty easily um, right here you can see the end turning um, taking just tape just your standard duct tape and uh, full tape used it to, to keep the edges from fraying um, on the inside you can see I've taken to keep the heat from to reflect in the uh, off the off the inside I've taken just uh, commercial um, baking sheets flipped them upside down and um, made that as kind of the floor of the oven I don't have the fan on right now because I'm kind of letting it heat up um, but here I've taken just the same uh, roller that I have on the end and I took uh, just uh, like some drawer mats, wrapped it around the the uh, the roller and uh, kind of um, made it taper off from one end to the from one end to the middle and then taper off again so that it has a nice taper to keep uh, the belt from uh, to keep the belt um, uh, pretty consistent on uh, from running off. I've got uh, just a standard um, plug outlet that I've attached the rotisserie motor to uh, for the drive shaft. I drove the, the actual rotisserie shaft that comes with the um, the package. I got it from uh, Lowe's and just drove it through the holes that are centered on the caps that I glued to the PVC pipe. Once I turn on you can see down here I've got just the the switch for the fan blower. You can hear it come on. Temperature gets to about 340 degrees uh, without the fan. With the fan, temperature gets to about um, 220. 240 um, last about two minutes two and a half minutes uh, in the oven 
um, which is perfect for water base. I've done wash test, stretch test on just, I've only done water based inks, um, which is um, a little trickier and it is held up on wash test with a cotton shirt, also with a tri blend shirt. Um, plan on putting some plans together. Uh, let me know if you're interested and I can give you some of the dimensions on 